What is going on guys, Brave here today. I like to talk about a lot of the changes coming to Battlefield 2042. Now of course we just had update number three, which really improved the game in my opinion. The game's in a better state now than it was a couple weeks ago. There still needs to be a lot of changes in my opinion made to the game going forward to make it even better. And I understand that some players may be frustrated with the game. They've kind of stepped away from it. They really don't want to play it. And I understand that. Like every, Everyone has their own opinion about something. Everyone kind of can do what they want when it comes to gaming. Um, and I get that people are frustrated and they should be because Battlefield did launch in a very kind of just not great state. But there have been some changes at DICE and EA. Now, we knew some of these changes were coming that some of the play, uh, people uh, that, you know, worked at DICE, worked at EA, were going to be stepping down after the game launched. They were moving on to other projects, moving on to other companies. And now we have two new people kind of stepping up in roles. Of course, one of them is the past uh, Call of Duty developer that made the original COD games, of course, that went on to make, you know, Titanfall. We also have the original Halo, uh, one of the original Halo creators now working on the different parts of uh, of the game as well as like the worlds and the environments so this is going to be of course different management so it's going to go you know in kind of the direction that they want of course hopefully this will be good changes for the game and we've already started hearing about a lot of stuff that they're looking to do and one thing that really excites me of course is they're talking about adding 64 player conquest and breakthrough now they said this will be a limited time event or limited time kind of thing but I think they're probably testing 64 players on new gen. So this is going to be for new gen and PC. And hopefully this will be a thing to stay. Because a lot of people are really liking Rush since they've added it in. Less players, less chaotic, less spam, less vehicles. I think the 128 player idea was great. But at the same time, I think a lot of people do not like the 128 player idea. Because it makes the games really cluster. <laughs> Just kind of a cluster at certain maps. It makes the games very unorganized, uh, and plus the vehicles get very annoying at times. I mean, there's been games where I hardly, rarely die to another player. It's always been a vehicle that ends up killing me. So I think adding 64 players in is a good idea. Hopefully they're going to test this out, and it's going to be a permanent thing. And I also think it will be good for the player base. And the reason being, of course, you know, old-gen consoles have 64 players with a little bit smaller versions of each map. I think they, of course, are going to add those maps in. I'm assuming is how they're going to do this 64-player idea. But then they could add old gen and new gen in together for cross-play. Now, I'm sure they're still going to have the uh, PC player option there. I know a lot of people out there said they wish they would just add 64 players in and have the option just to play old gen and new gen consoles together and just kind of, you know, not have to have a cross-play PC lobby. I'm not sure if that'll ever happen. But at the same time, I think adding, you know, that 64-player lobby in gives them the ability to add, you know, old gen consoles into the fold as well for the player base. Honestly, still right now, I play on PS5, have no problem getting into a game. Games are always full. But I know some people have been talking about the player base in general. I know the PC player base is a good bit different than the console player base. But overall, I think adding that 64 player conquest in is going to be a big help because if you have not played Rush since it's been added into Battlefield 2042 over the last few days, I would highly recommend it. It is really, really good. It's very enjoyable. Uh, the rush mode for Battlefield 2042 is, is a lot of fun. And to me, it plays a lot better than your Conquest and Breakthrough maps do. So hopefully adding in this 64-player Conquest kind of as this limited time event thing is going to be uh, you know something they can test and see if it's really popular. And I think a lot of players are really going to like it. Plus, moving forward with these new devs, these new people in charge, even though they've been there, they're now going to have a bigger role within the game. And so I think that's going to hopefully improve the game. We'll have to wait and see. It seems like right now they're really listening to the community. They're getting back to the community on feedback very quickly. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're excited to hear about 64-player uh, conquest. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.